Today, we're gonna to talk about how to use watercolors in our art classroom. Your watercolors will always be located on the painting cart. Your painting cart will be located next to the center table. Our painting cart has three shelves. The bottom shelf has our temper paint on it, which we'll talk about at another time. The center shelf is where you will find your watercolors in pink trays. Next to it will be your sponges, and on top, your water bowls that you will need when we paint. Let's take a closer look at your watercolor tray. After you go to the painting cart and you grab your watercolor tray, also grab three sponges and place them in the middle. Your painting tray will have two palettes of paint in it. These palettes of paint are divided into two different color families. You have the warm colors and you have the cool colors. With your warm family, you will find red, orange, yellow, and magenta. And your cool family, you will find greens, blues, turquoise, and purple. Your sponges need to be just a little bit wet, but not so much that the water is squeezing out of them. You'll also need a water bowl with clean water and a paintbrush. Make sure your water is only filled to the black line on your cup. All right, now we're ready to start painting. After you've grabbed your paper and you have your paint and water bowl set up, you're ready to start. Right now your paint is dry. You have to activate it by adding water. So take your paintbrush, swish it through your water to make sure it's clean, wipe it on the edge. If there's any extra paint on it, you can also wipe it onto sponge and then simply add water to your watercolors. This will begin to activate your paint and make it easy to use. If it's been dry for a while, you might have to add extra drops of water. When you paint, make sure your fingers are on the grip, not on the handle, on the grip, not the danger zone either. Make sure you are always dancing on your tippy toes and not smushing your brush. After you've added your color, begin to paint on your artwork using those tippy toes. Never smush it across the artwork. That will ruin the bristles of your brush. Keep going back and forth between your water and the color. The longer you dance in your color, the darker your color will be. The shorter time you dance, the lighter your color will be. When you're ready to switch colors, make sure you clean your brush and wipe it on the sponge to get any extra paint off. And then simply wake up your next color. Remember, wake it up with water Stay on your tippy toes. The longer you dance, the darker your color will be. If you are painting really small details, use that tip of your brush to help get you in those small areas. Whenever you're finished painting, make sure that you leave your paintbrush in the water bowl. Never just leave it on your table. All right, it's time to talk about cleanup. When I say clean up, you need to take your water bowl with your brushes to the sink. My classroom has one sink with two faucets, which means that two students can be rinsing their brushes and their water bowls at once. If you're waiting your turn, please wait at the edge of the rug until it's your turn to go. When it's your turn, head up to the sink, pour out your water, turn the faucet on, and fill your water bowl with clean water. You might have to rinse your cup a couple of times to get the paint out. Make sure it's filled to the black line and then stop. When you wash your brush, make sure that you scrub the bristles, make sure you clean off the danger zone, and then turn off the water. Your paintbrush will dry on the paintbrush cart. Please leave it in one of the little holes that you see with the hair up. This will make sure that your bristles stay nice and neat. Sometimes I might ask you to drop off your paintbrush in the paintbrush hot tub. If that's the case, please just drop your paintbrush off in the bucket and walk away. Take your clean water back to the painting cart. Double check that it is filled to the line. Make sure your paint is back on the second shelf, throw your sponges back in the dirty bucket, and you are all done.